Hello and welcome to Grand Theft Auto Higher or Lower, a quiz where different items from GT Online are pitted against each other and I have to pick which one is the most expensive. This can be weapons, guns, vehicles, or buildings. This is of course going to be quite hard because I only have a few hundred hours in GT Online and I have purchased very few things. It's not how I played the game. And GT Online of course, notoriously having a completely nonsensical economy, I'm hoping I can at least get 50%. I'll also be trying to estimate the rough value of these items as well to make it a little bit more difficult. I'll also give my chat a chance to guess which one they think is correct. So let's get started. Higher or lower? Up and atomizer versus flashlight. I remember playing GT Online and being like, I don't have an up and atomizer. And I went to go see what it was worth and it was worth like half a million dollars. I wasn't even aware you could buy a flashlight. I cannot imagine the flashlight, even in GT Online, is worth more than up and atomizer. Yeah, okay. Wasn't that hard, that one. It's 400000 So I'm going to be guessing the rough price of stuff. I should have guessed the flashlight as well. But I wouldn't have guessed that, you know. Oh, I should be asking chat as well. So what I can do is have something that in real time shows what you guys are spamming. You guys are the worst. Karin Previon versus Widowmaker. I don't even know what to say with this. Like, I don't even know what a Widowmaker is. I assume it's the laser gun. Given that it's a laser gun, you'd assume it to be very expensive. Like a million dollars or something. And this just looks like a shitbox car. I mean, look at those rims. Pathetic. I'm I'm definitely going to say Widowmaker. What? Isn't a minigun worth more than 450000 This is, this looks like, this is, like, this is garbage. This is like a shitbox car that you buy when you're 16 years old to get you by. And that's $1.5 million? That's insane. And you guys got it wrong as well. Terrible. Pegasi... Fargio had to be careful how I said that. Sport versus flare gun. I mean, it has sport in the name, so you assume it's worth a little bit more. Flare gun is an exclusive item for GT Online. Therefore, it makes me want to think it's expensive. But this can't be worth a lot. It's a little Vespa thing. It's so tiny. And flare gun, GT Online exclusive, I think it's trying to trick me because this is smaller than this. I think the flare gun is worth more. I think the flare gun would be worth like a hundred grand or something. No one rockstar. And this would be worth like 50k. Well, I got the price of the, the Fargio correct. It's about 50k. Okay, you guys knew that one. Four grand, really? Like, but the up and atomizer was like 500,000. This is a building. It's an entire fucking building. Elysian Island Nightclub versus the Nagasaki Shinobi. I'm going to be struggling with a lot of these names, chat. But this is a fucking building. There is no way this could be worth more than a building. Because this building would be worth like, well, it looks garbage. But this is a nightclub. So I'm assuming indoors looks pretty good. It's got to be worth at least $2 million. And this thing's got to be worth like 250000 or something. Why would a bike be worth $3.5 million? You guys were perfectly split on it as well. You guys didn't know. The pricing online makes no sense, man. Fire truck versus Nagasaki Shinobi. Look, there is no way a fire truck is worth more than $2.5 million. But I'm thinking it was done this way to trick me. The fire truck is actually going to be worth more than that. Are they just trying to trick me? No, no, no. I think, I think they know that I would know that they're trying to trick me. And thus they're not trying to trick me to try to trick me because they think I think what they'll be tricking me. Get it? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? You see? So I think I'm going to go with the bike. 2.5 million and this will be like a million. I am more clever than the people who made this, alright? You guys were overwhelming on the bike as well. You didn't know. Who buys a fire truck? You can steal them. They're free. It should just say free. Five finger discount. Shih Tzu Longfin versus... 2874 Hillcrest Avenue. What? You can buy this? Can you actually buy this building? I'm still leaning towards the boat though. This is an expensive fucking boat. This looks like a shitbox house. I mean, sure, it's like elevated and stuff, but like its windows don't even work, man. How could it be worth money? <laughs> nah, I'm going with this. This will be 2 million and this will be 750,000. Oh, that was pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, that boat just looked too nice, you know? Stun Gun or Grossi Turismo R. So, I don't think the Stun Gun's particularly expensive, chat. I know the Up and Atomizer was expensive, but I don't think the Stun Gun's expensive. It's probably like a hundred grand. 
But you see, I bought this car as like my first car, I think, in GT Online. So it's probably about half a million dollars. Because how else could I have bought it? Because I was so poor at the beginning. So I'm going to say this. I mean, I got half of them, right? I mean, that's an expensive stun gun, though. But I'm surprised. <laughs> like, it's When did I buy this car? Like, seven years ago or something. Did you guys know? Yeah, you guys were there, I think. Volcar Warner HKR versus the Bugassi Fagio Sport. We, we should know the price of this. I don't remember it, though. Was this 50 grand? No, I think I'm crazy. Was it 250? I don't know. Okay, but this has such a pretentious name. Volker Warner HKR. Like, this sounds like a new vehicle because I've never even seen it before. And because it's a new vehicle, it probably deals with the huge inflation GT Online. So I think this one's more expensive. Something stupid. Two million dollars. And this is 250,000. Okay, it was 50,000. It was 50,000. God, that's what I thought. And then I was like, no, it can't be that. I'm dumb. But yeah, so it is super expensive though. I was way off, but I got the correct answer. So who cares? You guys got to. It just has such a like over the top name. Okay. Fire truck versus a presser MK2. Now we know this is $3.25 million. This thing is around that price as well. Cause I bought it once and I think I bought it for like 2 million-ish. And then I was like, why can't I fire missiles? And they're like, you gotta buy the missiles too. And I'm like, what do you mean? And it doesn't include like the other stuff you have to purchase to get it. It's just the thing. So I'm thinking the fire truck's more expensive. This is like $2 million, I think. I knew it was expensive, but I thought it was like more obtainable. That doesn't even come with missiles? And you guys are pretty split on it too. God damn it. Flare gun versus flashlight. Okay, so the flare gun was $4,750 and the flashlight was like $5,750. So the flashlight should be more expensive. Oh, I remembered! I am the best. I am the smartest person who has ever been in existence. Ignore when I forgot the price of that uh, Fagio, okay? Grotti X80 Proto versus Maze Bank Tower Office. This is impossible. This could be worth like $4 million. It looks like that's what it'd be worth. Like $4 million. Easy. And this is, it's probably about the same. But it's a tower office. So like the very top floor. But they could be trying to trick me. Like, oh, of course an office is worth more than an itty bitty car. So my first instinct is go to go with the tower office. It being worth like $7 million, And this being worth 4 However, now nah, fuck it. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not playing mind games. I'm just gonna go with that, okay? So I was, I was correct, but like double the price of what everything's actually worth. I, I have no faith in GT Online. I'm like, oh, this is a cookie? It's probably worth $16 million. I got the right answer, so who cares? It's obvious? Nothing's obvious in GT Online, man. Aquarius Yoss versus Buckingham Luxor Deluxe. This thing is made of like solid gold. I think it is literally just a money sink. Like, this is worth $20 million or something. I never did the yacht DLC, so I have no idea what yachts are worth. But this thing, I know, because I remember asking, what is the difference between the gold one and a normal one? And people were just like, it's just gold. There's no difference. And it's just a sink, a sink money. So I'm going to say, this is $20 million, and this is $15 million. That's my bet. Well, I mean, I was correct. I just doubled both their prices again. <laughs> It shows that I do know tiny things about GTA Online, right? <laughs> tiny things. Grossi Turismo versus LSIA Nightclub. So, we know this is 500000 So the nightclub has to be worth more than that. There's no way you can get yourself a nightclub for less than $500,000. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, I should have guessed this price. I would have guessed around one5 or something. I'm happy they're throwing some easy ones in here so I don't look stupid all the time. Nagasaki Shotaro versus Invade and Pursue RC Tank. This is something you can purchase. It's not just like a mini thing in something else. So this is the Tron car, and this looks like a tank built for ants. This is probably worth like $2 million. And this thing, because it's made for the American government, is overcharged to the shit. You know, government contracts, as Lester says, so it's probably worth like $4 million. Nah, not even GT Online's that stupid. 
I don't know what this thing does. This thing could like suck your dick or something. And I, I wouldn't know. So I don't know how to value it. Not thinking insanely. I think this is probably worth like a million dollars. This is probably worth like two million dollars. Wait, no, but that other bike was worth 2.5 million dollars. And that wasn't even a Tron car. This has to be worth like three million. Yeah, three million. 1.5 million. That ain't fair, dude. <laughs> Have a 50k difference? Who's going to know that? Ah, painful. But Brute Stockade versus Fire Truck. Okay, Fire Truck still $3.25 million. Brute Stockade, like, it has money in it. But there's no way it's worth $3.25 million. There's, there's fucking no way. There's nothing special about it. Like, you'd never even purchase it. I mean, it's probably heavily armored, but like, it's smaller than the Fire Truck. It probably doesn't come with money. So we'll say this is like, 1.5. Okay, 2.2. I mean, it wasn't that far off, but I was correct. It's all that matters. Grossi Vigilante versus Oppressor MK2. That's what that's called? Vigilante? That's funny, because it's a Batman car, and Batman's a vigilante. Ha <laughs> ha. Vigilante is actually vigil... I, I... Words. So, this was 3.7 million. This is Batman's car. How could it not be worth more than 3.7 million? It's got boosters and stuff on it. I still think it's the Oppressor MK2, because it's just, like, ridiculous. This is probably worth, like, something close. Like, it'd be, like, 3.5 million, and this would be 3.7. I did say it was close, and I was very close to the answer, and I was correct, but, you know, I forgot the Oppressor was worth. God damn. It's 3.9, chat. Oh, and you didn't get a chat. Get wrecked. Buffalo STX versus Elysian Nightclub. Okay, so... It's very clear I need to start remembering what everything's worth. The Elysian nightclub was like, it was at least 2 million, I think. That buffalo is not the buffalo from single player. So this is probably 2 million. This is probably worth like 1.5. Like just a ridiculous markup over single player. I knew it was going to be a ridiculous markup over single player, but that much? I don't even know what a buffalo is worth in single player, but it's worth like 15 cents and a packet of chips. 2.15 million? It doesn't even look that good. It's like, yeah, it, it costs 2 million to like curve the front a little bit. Get real. Have a good day. Buffalo STX is that much cause you can put the missile lock on jammer on it and other Romani tech. Oh, okay. I've heard of those things. I've never tried any of those things. Thank you, dude. Mystery solved. Compact EMP launcher versus Widowmaker. So Widowmaker was 450,000. Compact EMP launcher, it's compact. The more compact you get something, the more expensive it becomes. And this is a newer thing, I think. Like a really new weapon. I think I heard it came out in a recent DLC. So it's probably worth at least $2 million. That's my bet. Two million, basically half a million. Okay, I was wrong, but I was right. So, clearly very expensive. Compact, so it's more expensive. But it is not worth $2 million. I'll give a little bit more credit to G2 Online moving forward. That could be my undoing now. Minigun versus the Corinne Sultan RS Classic. I've bought the minigun many times before. I think I was surprised how cheap it was. They both may be around $100,000. And I think the card be more expensive. So $100,000, $150,000, I think. How the fuck is that car worth $1.8 million? It looks like a shitbox. Because it's two door. That's this why is, they cost one million dollars. This is not the specialist. I mean, yeah, as I said, the minigun was super cheap and I was surprised whenever I bought it. I was close with the minigun. But yeah, I guess it's an online car, not a single player car. I guess because it's classic, it becomes a lot more expensive. Imponte Ruiner 2000 versus Progen PR4. You see, chat, this one has 2000 in its name and this one has four in its name. So I think this one is worth more. So I'm going with right now. But like, I mean, it, surely this has got like less metal on it, has to be worth less. I think this one just looks cooler. And as I say, bigger number, better vehicle. This would be like $3 million and this will be like $2 million. This is $6 million? The Ruiner is Cougar proof? Oh, that makes sense then. It can jump, fire missiles and miniguns. It can parachute and electrocute people. Oh, so it's like a spy car kind of thing. Alrighty, alrighty. 
Brute Armored Boxville versus Buckingham L Luxor Deluxe. Okay, there is no way in hell this thing is worth more than $10 million. There is no fucking way. But like, this could be like one of those stealth vehicles. Like, look at all this tech on top of it. It's got like bags. But I, I, I don't believe it. This thing can't be worth more than $10 million. If it is, this is like the biggest meme in GT Online. It's super armored. It clearly came with that Mad Max DLC or whatever. So it's probably worth like $2 million because it's late in the, the game's life. And this is $10 million. Yeah. Pretty close. Did I say $2 million or $3 million? I meant $3 million. So, spot on. And <laughs> no one was tricked. Kosatka Submarine versus Aquarius Yacht. So this was like five million, right? And this is worth, I, so I've purchased this, so it can't be that expensive. This is like three million and this is like five million. I own this, therefore it cannot be too expensive. I think I spent my criminal mastermind money on it or something. Or I don't know where I get money in GTA Online really. I don't buy shark cards though. Okay, eight million. And this, yeah, see, it has to be cheap because I have it. $2.2 million for a submarine. You know how much submarines are worth in real life chat? A Virginia-class submarine is estimated to cost 3.45 billion. 3.45 billion, chat. The one time GT Online is having prices under real life. Lago Zancudo facility versus Blimp. But the Blimp is delicious and infectious. I don't know what a Blimp is worth, chat. I get him for free. I didn't even know you could buy a Blimp. But it's a whole facility. There's no way a Blimp is worth more than a whole fucking facility. No shot. But... Here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. I own this. I have purchased this. It therefore can't be that expensive. So I'd say this is 2 million. This is 500,000. Oh, but you can just tell Rockstar's made the blimp ridiculously expensive for some stupid reason. Okay. I can't remember the numbers that I said, but I was correct. I remember now I did say 1.67 million and uh, 1.19 million for the blimp. 100%. I can't believe I got them exactly on chat. I am a genius. True, the blimp should be worth more because you can use it to visit Davy, of course. Invade and Persuade RC Tank versus Grand Sonora Desert Facility. I've never purchased this before, and this was worth like 3.5. It was a ridiculous price, right? But I mean, they want you to purchase the facility so you can do stuff. So they aren't that expensive. It doesn't make sense. I'm thinking the tank is worth more. So this is like 3.5, this is like 3. It was so close though. It was 2.3? Fuck. I should remember that. Awful. Oh, you guys got screwed as well. You shouldn't listen to me, chat. I know nothing. Nothing. Las Laguanas Boulevard, apartment four versus up and atomizer. Can you actually purchase this apartment? Because I mean, the up and atomizer is worth $500,000. This is an apartment though. I saw what you guys spam. You guys spam it too. There's, there's no way an apartment is worth less than $500,000 that you can actually purchase. What would be the point? I don't care what you guys think. This is going to be like $750,000. This is $500,000. It's just a little bit less than $500,000. You get the idea. Why would they even bother selling an apartment that cheap? What's the point? What are you doing it? For sex? No one wants to come back to that apartment, chat. If you're having sex in that apartment, you're paying for it. Heavy Rifle versus 69 Cougar Avenue Apartment 19. Speaking of paying for sex, I think you can take a prostitute or one of the strippers to this house, right? I have no idea what a Heavy Rifle is. It doesn't even have a magazine chat. Can't be that expensive. Is this a new weapon? It could be a new weapon. Nah, it's an apartment chat. It has to be worth more than a fucking gun. Get out of here. It even looks like a nice apartment. This would be worth a million dollars. This would be worth like... 200,000. Why do these apartments even exist? Who's selling an apartment for $112,000? Show me these apartments and I'll buy them all. <laughs> I will destroy the property market for future generations. Heavy Sniper Mark II versus 2874 Hillcrest Avenue. This was like half a million. And this is an MK2, which are very expensive. So we're taking the ridiculous sniper rifle. It's probably gonna be worth like a million dollars, and this will be worth half a million dollars. Oh, you guys except took the bait as well. Bamboozled. I guess 
Heavy Sniper existed in single player? Did the Mark II version exist in single player? It didn't exist in single player? Then why is it so cheap? Ah, uh, must be from very early in the game. I don't know. Joe built Phantom Wedge versus Shih Tzu Long Fan. So we know this was worth like 2.5 or something. It was expensive. But this thing is newer? This looks like the sort of vehicle that everyone wants to purchase and Rockstar knows everyone wants to purchase it. So they're like, look, we'll make it like $4 million because they can knock cars away and stuff. Came from the Mad Max DLC, probably oh, like, like newer than this. I think it should be worth $4 million and this worth 2.5. I was right. I mean, I was wrong in every single other way, other way than in the macro sense, but I was overall correct and that's all that matters. <laughs> Matt's GTA Online outfit, snake leather fur jacket, sand high roller pants, shoes come included, gray dice earrings versus 1200 route 68. How the fuck? I have no idea what I paid for this outfit, dude. If I was able to purchase it, it has to be very cheap. I mean, I look a million dollars, clearly. It's gonna be really close. Like this is gonna be 150,000 and this would be like 125,000 or 175,000 or something. I still think it's the building. I think the building is gonna be like, yeah, 150. This would be like 100,000 or something. It's clothing. Like how, there's no way Rockstar's like putting clothing being like a million dollars. No way. I had no idea there were buildings that cheap. Why are there buildings that cheap? What is their function? It stores two cars. But can't you only have a limited amount of properties? That's nuts. Pegasi Fagio Sport versus Ubermach Sentinel. So the Ubermach is in single player. I think the Fagio is as well, but I've forgotten what the Fagio was worth again. It was 50,000, right? It was, it was, it was 50,000. Yeah, and then I was annoyed that I couldn't remember that it was 50,000. Yeah, 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 definitely. And the Ubermach Sentinel, is worth, I have no idea. I think the Uber mark is still worth more. It could be anything. I'm thinking like 75 grand. Okay, I mean, I got it right. That was pretty close. Good stuff. Single player stuff makes a bit more sense to me. Oh, you guys were like perfectly split and you failed. Feels bad, man. Pegasi Zentorno versus Compact EMP Launcher. The EMP Launcher was 400,000. I purchased this to help in no damage. It wasn't ridiculously expensive. Maybe 600,000. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with this being worth more. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, okay. Well, I was a little bit off, but uh, I, I got the kind of difference there. Because if it was worth a ridiculous amount of money, I couldn't buy it in Oco, you know? Starfish camo face paint versus flare gun. So this was 4,700. How the fuck could a face paint be worth more than $4,700? No, that does actually make sense if it was added later into the game. Everything's goddamn more expensive. I'm thinking it's the face paint. Rockstar doesn't add cheap things in anymore. I don't know why anyone would ever want this. How is it camo? Like you pretending to be a starfish? Is mayonnaise an instrument? You're trying to steal Patrick's Krabby Patties? So I think it's worth like 10 grand. 42,000, that's, this, this face paint is worth more than all those buildings that we just saw before. You can't park two cars in this guy's face. That's insane. That is insane. Like, why make face paint a money sink? Dubashi JB700 versus 69 Cougar Avenue Apartment 19. So this was, so Cougar Avenue was like 150,000. I think it was exactly 119,000. The JB700 is definitely, definitely worth more than that. Probably like half a million. Even though there's only meant to be like a handful of them in the world or whatever. Buy that shit online. Yeah, half, half a million. Okay, well, yeah. So I was close, 112, same as 119, 500,000, same as 350,000. Unless the person's like, look, I can give you 350,000 or 500,000. Like, you care then. But in general, for this game, I did well. <laughs> Everyone immediately got it. Get real. Shaggy mullet versus flashlight. So this was like 7,500. Going off the other thing, which was 50,000. If a face paints 50,000, this hairstyle is like 25 grand. Look at her looking all sus there. Yeah, okay. I mean, I was right. I was wrong about literally everything, but I was right in general. That's all that matters, chat. It's so close in price. Ah, oh, goddamn. Heavy Sniper Mark II versus Undead Contacts. Now, the Sniper was like a hundred and... 
115,000. The undead contacts, I have no idea. How could contacts be worth more than $100,000? Literally impossible. Impossible. I'm going to say this is the contacts are worth like 20 grand. 2,000. Okay. Well, I clearly don't know my body cosmetics or whatever, chat. It's clearly obvious that the gun was worth more, though. 8-bit Vinewood Arcade versus Brute Stockade. Would you believe it, chat? But I do not remember what the Brute Stockade was worth. I remember it was up against the fire truck. The Vinewood Arcade is something that I have purchased, so it can't be worth that much money. I'm thinking this is worth 3 million and this is worth 2.5. I mean, I was pretty close. Okay, Brute Stockade is 2.2, chat. Remember this for the future, 2.2. The Nagasaki Shinobi versus the Strawberry Auto Shop. Now, okay, okay. The Nagasaki was worth 2.5. The Strawberry Auto Shop is a new thing, so it's worth at least 2 million. But is it worth more than 2.5? I purchased it. It's in the middle of the city. It can't be that expensive. I think it was worth slightly less than $2 million. And that's why I bought it, because it was the cheapest one. So I'm going to go with the bike. Yeah, I was on. I was, I was totally right. 2.5 and slightly under 2 million. I'm a genius. I can't believe I've gotten every single one of them right so far, chat. It's un 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 truly unbelievable. I had no idea I knew so much about GT Online. Largo Zenkudo Facility versus LSIA Nightclub. Okay, so we've had both of these before, and I do not remember what they both were worth. But I know that the Zenkudo Facility is worth more. This is worth like 2 million, and this is worth like a packet of potato chips. Yeah, see? Basically 2 million and a packet of potato chips. Can't believe I remember that. Fist of Comet versus Matt's GT Online outfit. So my GT Online outfit was 49,000, right? And the Fist of Comet is worth dick. And dick ain't that expensive, chat. There's no way, as much as I hate the Comet, there's no way it's under 49,000. There's no fucking way. It has to be the Comet. Yeah, okay. I didn't say what I thought it was worth, and I actually forgot what my outfit was worth. Chat, it was, it's what, it fits the comments worth like $100,000. Look, I got it right. Crazy. Mays Bank West Executive Office versus Grand Sonora Desert Facility. I purchased this one, so it has to be inexpensive. The poly birth worth around the same price. I think we saw this one before and it was worth like $2 million, 2.5. This one probably worth like three. And it's the executive office, chat. Executive, sounds expensive. Gonna go to the office. But I purchased it. It had to be cheap. I'm so dumb. I've had it for ages. It's probably like like one of the oldest buildings in the game. You guys were definitely you guys definitely type in two more. How old was this building? Chat's like one of the first buildings, right? It's the cheapest of the offices. Of course it is. That's why I have it. Executive office came out in 2016, 2015. Mm. Undead contacts versus Nagasaki Shotaro. This was like 2.5, and this was like a thousand or something. It's not. It's not hard. Yeah. So pretty close. I guess it's testing how dumb you are at the end. Oh, you put what? What are these? Just it's freebies. I look like I'm worth more than 10 million dollars, but okay, 37,500 versus 10 million. Um, uh, or oh, which number is larger? It's definitely the Luxor. <laughs> Matt Swag is priceless compared to this dumb, super expensive plane. You expected to be correct, didn't you? Get out of here! But it wasn't. It wasn't priceless before. <laughs> Speaking of my outfit, these shorts are broken. The, the, this, see this, this fabric thing here, like rolls, it's not meant to roll. So that is the end of the higher or lower game. I think I did pretty well. I mean, the scores can be put on screen somewhere here. <laughs> it tells me my score. <laughs> Whoa, Michael was in witness protection. You got 67%. A passing grade. What a pro. You did a pretty impressive job on this quiz. Enough that we think you've got a career in GT5 speed running. Oh man, such high praise. I did pretty well, I think. I did better than I expected. At random chance, you'd get 50-50, right? <laughs> so I did better than random chance. But as long as I got over 50%, that's a passing grade. So that's all that matters. If you know of a content creator who hasn't watched this video and you want them to do it as well, I'll put the link to this in the description down below. Although the references to me won't make a lot of sense. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. If you enjoyed this video, please enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one, everyone.